everybody. We're taking a look at the verse of the day. We're using the YouVersion Bible app. Today's verse is Acts 2, verse 21. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Now we want to take a look at the context of this passage. They're actually talking about an older Jewish concept called the Day of the Lord. And the idea here is that on the Day of the Lord, the Messiah would come and he would take over. He would become king. He would become the, the physical, present king in their day. That he would institute God's kingdom. And it would be a real kingdom, like, like a physical kingdom. That it would overthrow the Roman government. That the Messiah would suddenly rule and, and make everything right. Now this is a pretty incredible concept, but the, the writers of the New Testament were reframing this idea. They were, they were telling us it's a different way of understanding this day of the Lord. And, and so they were saying, look, the kingdom of God is coming, but it doesn't look like you think it comes. The, the kingdom of God comes in our hearts. The, the kingdom of God, it sets a new reality in place, a new way of living, but it's a spiritual kingdom. It's a, it's, a, it's a kingdom that's actually bigger than our physical world. It's a kingdom in our hearts. It's not a physical kingdom. You know, I've heard preachers on TV saying, look, if you give your money to God, God will make you rich because God wants you to be rich, right? This is what we sometimes call the name it, claim it gospel. God wants me to be rich, so I'm going to be rich. That's a modern day view of, of this kind of kingdom of God. That we think that God's going to make you wealthy because his kingdom is now, it's here. But the reality is, this is a kingdom at work in our souls and on our hearts. And as it works on our souls and our hearts, it begins to change who we are, our perspective on the world around us. And then it begins to change how we treat the people around us. And then the church becomes this little, little uh, vision of the kingdom of God where we treat each other in love and kindness and, and Christ-likeness. That's the way the kingdom works. And, and the writer of Acts is telling us this is what we get to be a part of. It's this now. But there's a second part to this passage. You see, they were under the impression that only, only the Jewish people, only the children of Abraham would get to be part of this kingdom. And what the writer of Acts is saying, no, anyone who calls on the name of the Lord gets to be part. Now guys, this is good news. This is really good news for you and me because it means we get to be part of God's kingdom. All that's required, all that's asked, is that you look to God, that you call on His name, that, that you're given the opportunity to have a relationship with God, just invite Him in. And so today I want to remind you of this good news. This is a good news not just for you, not just for me, not just for the people of Israel. This is good news for everybody. Anybody that calls on His name is invited into this kingdom. And that means you're invited in. And today, I want you just to pay attention to this kingdom of God. Sometimes in the New Testament, uh, especially Paul, he talks about being a citizen of this kingdom. That though we live in uh, the world around me, I'm a citizen of Cedar Park or Leander or Liberty Hill or wherever you're a citizen. Though you're a citizen of that town, even deeper, even more importantly, even more real, you're a citizen of God's kingdom. What does it look like to live as a citizen of God's kingdom? Well, you've been invited into this new reality. You've been invited to be a part of a citizen of that kingdom. Let me pray for you today. God, today as we go about our days, help us to see the world as citizens of your kingdom. Help us to look around and see that we're not only citizens of, of uh, this area, but we're citizens of, of your world of your kingdom, even the kingdom in our hearts. Father, you've invited us into this. Help us open our hearts to you today and to live this out. We pray this in your name. Amen. Well, thanks for taking a look at the verse of the day with me today. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.